Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. And you know, John, the adventure of life is not to get everything you want. The adventure of life is to know God. And if you miss that adventure, you've not lived. You may have amassed things for mm-hmm. yourself, mm-hmm. but you, you didn't truly live. If you live by a bucket list, of all the things you want to do, you're going to do, and that's your satisfaction that you, that you did your bucket list, you've missed it entirely. It's just the love of the world, isn't just it? Just the love of the world. And the world will never give anything but grief. But see, the, the amazing thing is, is that if you are purposed to know him, determined to know him, you may experience, he may go through and ex, you may experience a bucket list, but it'll be with him and it'll be eternal. Exactly. I've had a bucket list of fabulous experiences around the country and the world. Well, you've wanted and, to travel to him. different places. Mm-hmm. And he took you there with him. him. With him, because of him, in him. And he told me every trip, he would remind me, okay, you're not going to Ireland to speak, to teach people. You're going to Ireland to love me there. It's all about loving him. So if you had gone and you had said, oh, I want to go see my uh, uh, ancestral Mm -hmm. home and where I'm from, and if you had done that, you would have been like, oh, well, that was how how beautiful, and Mm -hmm. it would have been a lovely memory. Mm -hmm. But because you did it with the goal to know him, he was revealed in your ancestry. Mm-hmm. He was revealed in your ancestral home. He, w- he was, it the was so much greater. Was there. It was greater. And you see, I, I don't remember that I asked to go there, but our friend arranged for me to go there. Remember? Yeah, absolutely. It's and amazing. I would not have asked that much of her because it was a long drive and she had to find it and so forth. And, um, but it was it it, it showed me God sure exactly enough. his purpose and his long long arm of begin of arranging for a life. So knowing Christ and purposing and determining to know Christ is not like you just sit on the couch. <laughs> right. It's right. not you're you're not sequestered in in a dull, mm-hmm. uh, purposeless life. He's too fabulous and too complex. He and he wants to reveal himself in all all that he is, and so it is the only adventure. You want an adventuresome life? Get on the train. This is headed to know him, and well, you will. Well, most people think you know pre-saved people think that becoming a Christian is going to be the most dull, boring thing and in the world. And you'll be denied everything fun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And and it's so completely counter mm-hmm. to, to the reality. Mm-hmm. But even to be saved, you have to determine to know him in order to know him. Yes. Otherwise, you're yes. just going to know about him. Yes. It's the about that trips people up. About means you don't have to get involved with God. You can just know about him and talk about him and think about him, but not him. And that's the tragedy of... That's missing him. They have no knowledge of God. Mm. Is what Paul said about the Corinthians. It's tragic. It is. It is, it is the tragedy. If you, could, if you could know God one year, it, it would be worth it all. And then you went to heaven. But to spend your whole life getting to know him, not yourself, as you say, on, the, on your blogs. So it's, it's so exciting, I'm bursting. Well, I, I, I saw, um, you know, the weakness, and then I saw the, the zeal and the life come forth. And I'm like going, wow. So that's, that's, that's why I stepped aside, mm-hmm. because I was like, Wow, we this is you, you you literally had an energy that was not your own. Mm, for sure. It was the energy of the spirit for the father. And I spoke some about the father in that uh CD of the month. 
but I read something in, in uh, somewhere else of my writings, I can't think of the moment where it is, maybe it was Adoration, that we are all prodigals. Mm -hmm. We're all lost in one form or another in our own self-consuming lust, whatever that happens to be. Sometimes even religious stuff. But we are children who are lost to come back to the Father expecting Him to reject us or sub subdue us and we find who He really is. That story is the story of every Christian. That was from The Real Father. Oh, was that The Real Father? Mm -hmm. Okay. The CD series, The Real Father. And uh, every, every, everybody has to go to discover how wonderful the Father is. Mm. And the, the, at least the prodigal came to his senses from madness. Mm -hmm. We're all in madness until we come to our senses and say, I need God. <laughs> I mean, this, this is it. That nobody, I have nothing and nobody, and I am nothing, and I'm just getting deeper and deeper in a hole. Mm -hmm. I, it must be God. i got to have God. So he goes back expecting just to be the lowest servant. And he's celebrated as the choice favored son. The favor of God is for those who come home to him. It doesn't take anything. You don't have to earn anything. You don't have to accomplish anything that you can say, here I am, aren't you proud of me? Oh, no. You come back to him destitute, and he gives you every favor of his love and covers all your shame and all your mistakes and all your filth of the world. It's phenomenal that that is the real Father. That's my Father in heaven. I've been listening to Fernando Ortega's song, How Great the Father's Love for Us. The words of it are awesome. I love Fernando. Mm -hmm. He's just, his music is just... It's quieting. It Fernando is. Fernando is quieting and, and his music keeps it rather simple, just piano. Mm -hmm. See, John, on the table of the month, the real emphasis was on the Father. That's, that's the ultimate. I just want to read these lyrics. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the father turns his face away, as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed, I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. That's intense. That's beautiful. Oh, made a wretch his treasure. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Where is it, Hebrews? It this it's from the scripture. How great a love the Father has that that we should be called His children. You want to read it? Because this is First um, John three one it says, "See how very much our Father loves us, for He called us His children, and that is what we are." The song is taken from First John three one. Yeah, that's where that that uh, scripture you quoted was. Yeah. One of the things I told was that repentance takes you to the knowledge of God, and and at this time we are there's so much repentance going on. It's so intense and beautiful and cleansing, and. I really feel that God is getting us ready and the, the church ready for an outpouring of His glory that we are yet to see. We're going to see glory, many say, 
as we've never seen it before. The last days are going to be filled with his glory and his power. And, and the counterfeit of that is the darkness that will that will increase. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. if the darkness is going to increase to a, a level that is frightening beyond what we've ever, then the glory of God would have to be equal and greater. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful time. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.